Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and today I want to address a user question or a, yeah, a user request is can I configure any son of devices that they turn automatically turn on after a power outage but with a delay and I think the reason for this question is that in some cases if you have a lot of uh, 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 appliances let's say you know a freezer and the chest of freezer and maybe something as a water heater if they all come on at the same time after a power outage then they can trip the breaker or maybe the uh, you know the voltage is not stable enough so you want to delay some devices so they don't draw on the um, on the grid at the same time and as I was testing the new TH uh, POW Elite and the TH Elite, I found some new features and I think that's going to just work for that. And if I go into the uh, POW Elite and if I go into inching settings, usually we have two lines which says the whether to enable inching and, and the time duration, but now there is also another one which says either status on or status off, so you can see the description here. And this seems to be doing exactly the same thing. So, for example, if I turn the POW off now, then it would automatically turn itself on after five seconds, which it just did. And this seems to be working on uh, the power outage as well. So I think this could be used for this. And again, if I turn it off from the app, after five seconds, it's going to turn itself back on automatically. So this could be a, a good feature as well. I'd say you have a device where you just want to sleep it, but normally it should be on, then you turn it off and you don't have to remember to turn it on again. So let me just demonstrate how this works. So I'm going to set a, a slightly longer inching setting so we can see that it actually works. So I think, as you can see, you can do it in half a second increments all the way until, all the way up to, yeah, an hour. So I can do, let's say 20 seconds. So I save it. And as you can see, the power on state is normally off. So uh, the inching is going to turn it off. With, oh, sorry, it, the inching is going to turn it on with the delay. But I think what I'm going to do now is on the, uh, the Elite, so sorry, on the TH Elite, I'm going to turn on the power on state. So we can see that, you know, this should turn on immediately after the power outage, and this should turn on with a 20 second delay. Okay, so everything is set up now. So I'm going to disconnect the power from this board. So as you can see, the power is gone. All of the devices turned off and now if I apply the power back on so this has come on immediately because of the power on state and we should see this come on as well after a 20 second delay hopefully and it does as you can see and I'm not 100% sure, but I think the way it works, that the inching is something which is stored on the device itself, which means that it, it doesn't need the internet for this inching to work because, uh, you know, anything else that requires the internet would be delayed because, you know, if you have a power outage, by the time your router comes back online and, you know, it connects to the internet, it could take a lot more time. But these settings here are definitely going to be is sort of like running on the device itself. So I think this is basically your solution to configure um, a delayed start on a device using a, either a son of POW or a son of, uh, uh, sorry, POW Elite or a son of TH Elite. Probably the only caveat with this is that you are only using this son of for this single functionality and you can't really use it for anything else because if you want to turn the device off, because of the inching setting, it's just going to turn itself on. So I guess that is not ideal. So if you want to turn this device off permanently, then first of all, you have to disable the inching and then you have to turn it off. So the inching doesn't turn it back on automatically. But uh, I guess this is the trade off uh, of this functionality. As you can see, the 20 second timer has elapsed again and the output has come on. So I think that's the solution to this problem. If you are interested in either the POW Elite or the TH Elite, I'm going to leave affiliated links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.